Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank you, thank the House, thank colleagues, and thank all the stakeholders in this matter of the special committee that was considering and investigating the proposal for removal from office by way of impeachment of the Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, the governor of Meru. Mr. Speaker, the committee considered and investigated and made a decision on charge one being nepotism, illegal appointments, unlawful dismissals, and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of the county organs. It also made a decision, Mr. Speaker, on charge number two, on incitement, bullying, vilification, and misleading campaigns against other leaders. Mr. Speaker, sir, charge number three was processed in the same manner, and it was about forceful entry into the assembly precincts and mobilization of unlawful riots against members of the assembly. And charge number four was violation of public finance management laws, charge number five. Finally, Mr. Speaker, was misconduct relating to nomination of county executive committee members. Mr. Speaker, sir, after the consideration and investigations, observations were made, conclusions were made, and by a decision of one after member after member, all the 11 members agreed and recommended to this House in this report that the charges, Mr. Speaker, none of them was proved or substantiated. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, the chairperson of that special committee. Honorable senators, as you may have noticed, the committee has found all the allegations against the governor not to be substantiated. Therefore, honorable members, the procedure to be followed in this case is that set out in section 336A of the County Governments Act and Standing Order Number 84A, both of which provide as follows. If the special committee reports that the particulars of any allegation again as the governor have not been substantiated, further proceedings shall, underline, shall not be taken under this section in respect of that allegation. Therefore, what this means is that insofar as the matter of impeachment of the governor of Meru, that matter is now put to rest by that report. We cannot purport to debate the report. The report, the committee that came up with that report is a creature of this house. By extension, it is the Senate that came up with that report. Having pronounced ourselves through that report, the Senate now stands functus official. You cannot debate your own decision. And there are four members that rests the matter of impeachment of the Honorable Governor. However, I'm aware, indeed, we have wise men and women in this chamber who may give us comments and opinions for the future, not for purposes of the impeachment of Governor Kawira Mwangaza. So I will allow those wise men and women to comment but do not, repeat, do not take your comments to that report because those comments will not in any way affect the validity or otherwise of that report 
your comments will not even remove or add a comma of that report. We simply want to seek your wisdom going forward. Senators, for those who are willing to make their comments in that regard, I will be calling one after the other, and that exercise shall not be undertaken for more than one hour. Senator Ngugi Joe Joseph Newton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity, and I thank God that today I'm the first one to make a contribution. Uh, Senator, maybe uh, just before you proceed, I can see these um, quite a number of senators would wish to uh, make some comments. And therefore, we have to limit the time within which each one of us will speak. And I suggest we take two minutes per Senate. Proceed, Senator. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I think I'm going to observe time. I thank uh, the committee.